Some of the most popular antenna designs that I've put on my channel are the simple ones that use pie pan. It's no wonder as they are inexpensive, easy to make, and can get some pretty good signal reception. Up until now, the designs have all been vertical oriented and more directional. So how would a horizontal pie pan antenna work? It would pick up signals from multi-directions, so in many situations it may be a better antenna. Well, I've got some pie pans and a little bit of time, so let's hop to it. This pie pan antenna, although very functional, is going to be limited in range. Due to the lightweight construction, pie pans are also best used indoors. They do make great kids projects or a quick backup antenna for your TV. To build this antenna, I will need a couple of aluminum pie pans. These are ones that I save from store-bought pies. I make sure they measure nine and a half inches across. I will need two small machine screws and nuts and a couple of washers. These will be for the antenna's terminals. To mount the finished antenna, I'll use this plastic lid from a small container. It has to be plastic or something non-conductive, so it can't be metal. I will also need to make a mounting mast. A piece of dowel or a bar of wood or PVC lumber will work but I prefer a length of one half inch PVC pipe and a cap. To attach it to the antenna, I'll use one of these lath screws. When I assemble the antenna, I will be using a desk stapler and a hot glue gun. In a pinch, I can use good sticky tape like duct tape or Gorilla tape, but the antenna won't last as long. I take the first pie pan and using a small carpenter square, I mark off four and three quarters inches on the back of the rim. I rotate the pan 90 degrees and make another mark at four and three quarters inches. I continue until I have four marks all 90 degrees from each other. On one mark, I measure off either side of the original mark one half inch in both directions for a total of one inch. I go across the pan to the opposite mark and do the same. Now I take these marks and use them to draw two lines across the back of the pie pan like this. The lines should be parallel to each other and one inch apart. Using a good sharp pair of scissors, I cut from the rim down the one line until I get within an inch or so of the other side. I'm being very careful as the aluminum edges are very sharp. I do the same with the other line. I cut this piece of pie pan free and discard it. Now I place this cutout pan on top of the other pan and trace the cutout opening. I use the scissors and repeat the process until I have two identical pie pan antenna elements. Using a piece of 180 grit sandpaper, I scuff up the top of the plastic lid. This will help the hot glue adhere better. I also scuff up the inside of one of the pie pans. A quick wipe cleans the surfaces. The hot glue is then applied to the lid and I press it down onto the center of the pie pan. If you are concerned about gluing this down to your work surface, lay a piece of wax paper down under the pie pan so the glue won't stick to it. I need to give the glue a little time to cool down and harden, so in the meantime I'll prepare my mounting mass. I attach the cap on the piece of 1 half inch PVC, then I drill a 1 8 inch hole in the middle. Next I measure across the edge points and mark the center of the pie pan on the plastic lid. I drill a 1 8 inch hole through this mark. Now I take the other pie pan and, aligning the edges, I put in a staple to hold them together. I repeat it on the other edge, then continue to staple the rims together. I use about 9 staples evenly spaced around the edge. To make the terminals, I drill a hole in both of the bottom corners of the cutout. I use a drill bit that's slightly larger in diameter than the machine screws. Now the terminal screws go through the holes. I push the screws through the holes, slip on a washer, and secure them with the nuts. To finish the antenna, I use the lath screw to secure it to the top of the PVC mast. And here's the completed antenna. I recommend using a matching transformer, but it will work without it. Before we go test this antenna, I have a few questions that I'm asked about these pie pan designs that I'd like to answer. 
First, a lot of you want to know why you have to make a cutout like this to use it as an antenna. Well, that's a very good question. TV signals are electrical and will always try to take the shortest path to complete a circuit. Without a cutout separating the terminals, the shortest path would be from terminal to terminal, which wouldn't be a very good antenna. By using the cutout, it forces the signal to travel around the pie pan, lengthening its path and effectively makes the pie pan into a simple hoop antenna. The other question is why do you use a pie pan that's nine and a half inches in diameter? Well, that diameter gives us a circumference of about 29 and 3 quarters inches, which works out pretty well to pick up most UHF signals in many areas. Okay, let's go to the testing room. As I always do, I attach the antenna to a mast, then connect it to my test TV. I run a channel scan, and this antenna is picking up 39 stations. Not bad for a small antenna. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to high five the like icon, jingle the bell, and subscribe to my channel. My followers are the best people ever. Until next time, keep watching TV.